In brief moment between the time the last red was struck and revelers collapsed in stupor and the start of the morning's commercial bustle around the docks. My name is Ben Foss and I'm director of Access Technology for the Digital Health Group at Intel. I filed the first patents on this product three years ago because I'm a user. I'm dyslexic, I don't read well, uh, and this is a way for me to gain independence and read. So um, let's go ahead and read it. Um, so the way you do that is you put the camera into shoot mode right here, right? And then I'll just throw it down. This is your card here. Go ahead. Capture it. Yeah, that's my um, business card. Do you have any? Do you have any content on the back or anything like that? Nope. Now, one of the things that'll be interesting to see is how it handles uh, this children's technology font, which is really a logo. It's art rather right. than, than than something else like right. That. So let's blow it up. We got children's. I'm guessing the next word is going to be junk because all of this different stuff is laid in there, right? So let's try children's. So we got, that might be thinking it was a Q or something like that. If we go forward though, we pick up your business card and we start getting your name read out. If I didn't know how to spell your name, for example, I could hold this down. N-R-R-N. And it's spelling the word out as I go. I can also go over and look at the original photograph that I took of it in case there was some visual information that I wanted there, right? So I can blow it up uh, and I can see the card as it was imaged. You know, there's your there's your other contact details and other things like that. Good for magnification if you want to get in very close to content and be able to see it. Um, that makes it so you can really get that quite large, much larger than it would be on your card, for example. And that can help a person with visual impairment. Can I hear the, the phone number read aloud? Sure, let's read the phone number. Phone, How'd we do? Pretty uh, darn accurate. There you go. Nice job. No problem. Delivery. Now, it also is very portable. So I can fold it up and take it on the go. Got a handle, got a thing to go. We can't take this one on the go because we have it secured to the uh, to the station. It docks in nicely like that. You can be powering it while you're working, which is good, gives you the background. Um, and you put in these three cables here, easy to find because they're located here. Now I can control the device from down here. People have problems with vision. So it'll take a photo of something. Holder back here is another feature. So if we were, for example, at the end of the book and stuff starting to ride up on us, right? Instead of putting my hand down to hold that, I can't do that because it can't read through my hand. I just lay that down like that. Nice smooth surface. It goes right through it. Um, and when you, and when you do that, you can go ahead and shoot it. Let's say quiet. Enjoy the brief moment between the time the last red was struck and revelers collapsed in stupor and the start of the morning commercial bustle around the docks. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Uh, they have all the packets, they have uh, uh, color images, data sheets, all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, and we can probably connect you up maybe with some of our marketing folks if yeah. you want to get something yeah. specific. I would. The American library. Yeah, so the library yeah. might be interested in adding to the library. This is, oh yeah, no, I can, I mean, every public library in the country would like one of these.